Good Sissy morning sick. to you all out there. <laughs> so, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous Friday. Yes, dear. It's Friday. Friday. Okay. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. My eyes aren't as swollen as you can see. They are still very, very itchy, and this one, the eye socket hurts, and it hurts all the way around into the back of my eye. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, the back of my ear. This is my ear. This is my eye. Anyway, um, but I'm taking the antibiotics, and I'm using two different eye drops, and it's getting better, so um, just a little weird. I don't know, but then again, we are talking about me. So anyway, I don't know what uh, the plans are for today. What are the plans today, baby? Are you you're going to do... I'm probably going to continue with what I was doing yesterday. i got to clean up the garage a little bit so I can get the, the saw working so I can make my cuts and uh, see how far I can get today. Tomorrow, Dave's coming over. We're doing some beer stuff. So i got to get as much done today as I can. What's for lunch, babe? Pizza. Can I have some? Nope. That's not very nice. Can Boomer have some? Nope. Haha, <laughs> you don't get any either. <clears throat> what about almond? Haha, <laughs> you don't get any either. I don't think Freckles wants any. He's sleeping. Well, he was until I said his name. So what did you get done today? Just cleaned up a little. Yeah. Well, before my feet gave out, my feet hurt, my, my knee hurts. Yeah. Get your claws out of my couch. What do you think this is? A cat scratcher? All the world is a cat scratcher. No. Not my furniture. Don't do it. And how are you supposed to get any work done? This is how it always is. He's laying where your keyboard goes. Well, otherwise he'd be lying on the keyboard. <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> Daddy has to work. <laughs> Not according to him. That's too funny. And then look who takes up residence in the middle of the couch here. Well, that's why Boomer is on the, the lap table here, because Alma took him space. Okay, so Kevin has been getting phone calls, like, what, three or four times a day? Um, I'd say two or three, yeah, but maybe every other day I'd get two or three calls. Two or three calls every other day from this, um... It's this guy from um, Life Science, Sterling Life Science, which is a headhunter uh, place who specifically hires people for pharmaceutical, biotech and pharmaceutical, which is what I've worked for for the last 14 years. And um, I rem he sent me an email first. I looked at the email, and it's from it's a Seeking HR Manager in Waukegan, Illinois. And... Um, I don't want to go to Waukegan, Illinois. And why Why do you not want to go to Waukegan, Illinois? Um, well, you know, I'm looking at the map. Here's Chicago. And Waukegan is maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from north of Chicago. It's right on, it's right on Lake Michigan. And uh, I looked the place up and it's got all kinds of problems. Industry has been leaving 
Waukegan for years. It's it has uh, it is a subject of several super funds, which means that um, it's it's uh, some companies have created some serious pollution issues in the area, and some of the area is polluted, which apparently is right by the marina. I looked that up. Um, uh, good things, of course, is you can buy a four bedroom, five bedroom house for like a thousand, hundred thousand dollars, but that's sort of a sign of that's not a good place to you want to move to. It sounds like the everybody's leaving in droves. So that I don't know a lot about Waukegan. Maybe somebody knows something about Waukegan. I don't think we have anybody who lives in the Chicago area that subscribes to us. But um, the guy keeps calling and he keeps calling and I don't answer his phone calls because I'm not. I really don't think I want to go to Waukegan. So. I don't think we want to live on, on one of the lakes in in dead of winter. <laughs> well, apparently there's no winter happening back east right now. Just like there's no winter happening here. Yeah, so I did my I did my uh, investigation. However, since it's through a um a headhunter, they they won't tell me who is looking for work. Because I could go around the headhunter to get the job. So all I know is that it's in Waukegan. So I was looking for all biotech and pharmaceuticals in Waukegan. And I can't find anything. Do you want to move to uh, Illinois? Land of Lincoln? Now, we both said that we've been looking for some sort of change. Yeah, we were looking for change from this. But... Are we looking for that much of a change? I'm not sure. So, but we don't really, I don't really know anything about Waukegan. I, I know what we hear coming out of Chicago, and it's just another big city with corruption, you know. I don't want to go to a big city anymore. I don't, no, I don't either. And Waukegan looks like a, basically a suburb of, of Chicago, and... I'm kind of tired of suburbs, too. We, we live in a suburb. I know. I, I want to go someplace more remote. So, anybody out there know anything? Let me know. Anybody work for a pharmaceutical in Waukegan, Illinois? Let me know. Might be the... It may be the job of, a, of the century, but I kind of doubt it. Hey there everybody! I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. I know if you watched this it looks like we never left the couch. Well, um, one of us did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed hanging out with us, please go ahead and give us a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and press that little red subscribe button down below. And follow along with us and become a member of the neighborhood community because we have the best community around and share this video with your family and friends because we will see you all tomorrow